the Zeppelin mod and I am also going to be showing you how to install it okay the Zeppelin mod is personally my favorite just because of what you can do with it okay now I have a world called airport but I didn't make it I actually downloaded it from offline in Zeppelin mod well, I'm gonna build something on my own the Zeppelin mod basically brings anything that you want and turns it into a plane or a ship or elevator just different things okay here's how it works Whoa. one sec Okay. So like I was saying, the Zeppelin mod brings anything that you want to fly or want to use as elevator, you can do that. And I have you have to go and change your settings to whichever controls that you want. Mine are the Y G H J Whoa and I K L It's just how I like mine. So yeah, you can turn anything you want into a ship, plane, and show you something else. This is one of the main reasons I downloaded this world because I like doing this with already made ship planes this is a remote that you can use to fly planes while you're not actually in the plane Ugh. here we go normally without the remote you would have to you would have to have you have to be actually inside of the plane but with the remote you can be anywhere and just let the plane fly itself and I like this one just it's just fun to do it's like a RC Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to install it. First thing is to Google, or the links are going to be in the description. So, Zeppelin. Mm. and then minecraft mine this is on my mac download zeppelin And, and download it. Now, once you get it, I didn't listen to what they said. It's just copy everything, then go to Finder. 
I just I have library already in my favorites, but you have to kind of like find it. Go to library, application support, and then Minecraft. Then you should see something called Ben. If you see Ben, click on it, and there'll be a Minecraft jar that's not like any of these. It's basically like this one. You click, you right click it, open with, and I have the unarch. I mean, I have the archive utility and the unarchiver, unarchiver. So you use one of those, and like you have, you get a folder like this, and it has all the things in here. So you copy all of these and paste them into this once that's done you turn the you make the dot jar or something else like backup minecraft and then you turn this into minecraft dot jar that way it'll read that and it'll have all of the things like it'll have all of the mods and everything that you install I'm gonna show you one sec oh, I hate when it does this okay I'm gonna show you how to do this. So open with the unarchiver. Go ahead and make this into backup Minecraft that jar. Turn this into Minecraft that jar. Add. Paste items, replace, and now when you go onto your Minecraft, hit login, whoa, 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 wait, 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 what was I thinking? You also have to download Mod Loader if you don't already have it. It's Mod Loader. Okay, Mod Loader. Copy everything from there. If you can hear that, that's just my dog. She's asleep. Apply to all, replace. And then, go back to Minecraft. Log in if you have the full version. And mine is in there. Okay. And that's how you get the Zeppelin mod and how to use it. Mm -hmm.